Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Y'all know who this is. This your boy, Rob Thomas Jr., and this is the real news behind the news. Oh, yeah, man, it is a, a pleasant overcast Monday, um, April 15, 2023, here in Shreveport, Louisiana. And um, um, again, I'm going to do what I do here at the real news behind news and give y'all some real news. Uh, that you can use real news that affects you now I'm keep it short but um we want to talk about what's next with um uh, with Israel I want to show y'all how the propaganda going in here in America um in relation to that because I don't want to sensationalize anything or seem like I'm trying to um uh, you know um excite people or get people you know what I'm saying on edge those who listen to me know that I, I've been speaking on these type of issues pretty much all my life. But what we're seeing right now is your government covering for a genocidal, homicidal government in Israel. Yes, the United States right now. I'm going to show you all what Israel really is. Israel is nothing more than a military base for the United States throughout the Middle East. Israel uses the United States and the United States uses Israel to conduct atrocities and war crimes throughout the Middle East. Now, again, if y'all been seeing the last few videos I did, you see what happened with Iran, Iran and uh, Israel. What they don't tell you all here in America and the propaganda is in America. They're not telling you all that this was not a, I'll put it like this. What they're telling you all is this was an unprovoked response by Iran on the country of Israel. Lie number one. This goes back to April 1st when Israel struck that embassy, the Iranian embassy in Damascus, Syria, which is a war crime, y'all. It is literally a war crime, right? Now they're telling you that Israel has a right to respond but at the same time, they're asking Israel not to respond because, again, they're telling you that it was an unprovoked attack. They're also telling you that the U.S. and Israel shot down 99% of the weapons that Iran sent. Now, let me show you all what really happened. Iran sent over 300 um, missiles, but mostly drones. They sent about 260 some drones that took three hours to fly from Iran to Israel. That means the Israel Israelis and the United States knew that the attack was happening because once Iran launched those drones from their country, the drones, it took three hours for the drones to fly from uh, Iran to Israel. By that time, the Israeli defense system, the Air Iron Dome, had to map them out. But at the same time, by the Israeli Iron, Iron Dome system, mapping out those um, those drones and shot most of the drones down, the uh, Iranians were at the same time were able to locate and basically defeat the Israeli Iron Dome because they had actually ballistic missiles. I think they had ballista, ballistic missiles coming in in, in undercover of the drones. So Iran really won that whole situation. But in America, they trying to make it seem like we won because we had planes. Do y'all realize Iran, each drone that they sent over there probably cost about $2,000 to make. But your government in Israel was shooting up billion dollar um, anti-aircraft, or just a million dollar um, anti-aircraft artillery so who won that battle? For for about uh just say a hundred thousand dollars, Iran struck that um if Israeli Air Force base. They didn't tell y'all about that, do it. They're gonna tell you about the little girl that got hurt. Well, what about all them Palestinians that Israel Israel is killing? So you gotta look at the propaganda of what we're being told in America and really research it. Now, again, I always try to get people to understand how does it affect us in America? Again, the Iranians sent $100,000 worth of drones. 
We were shooting million dollar missiles, missiles that cost a million dollars. We were shooting at, of them at three, I mean, about 200 some drones. So you're looking at $200 million wasted in the defense of Israel. When Israel started, first of all, who decided that Israel gets to di dictate American politics? No. The Holocaust happened, like they tell us Negroes here, about slavery. The Holocaust happened, that's ancient history. That's long, long ago. Matter of fact, America didn't have shit to do with what Hitler was doing to the Jews. No. But as soon as we say something about slavery, they say that was ancient history. While my mom's still living. Who decided that Israel gets to dictate, dictate what goes on in here? Who decided for us, the people, that we want to give our money to defend Israel when 95% of the people in America give two fucks about Israel. Especially now that Israel is, I mean, I mean, conducting a, a ethnic cleansing on a genocidal level. They try to talk so much about the Iranian regime. It's a theocratic, this and that. It's, it's, a, it's, 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 it's an evil empire. Look at Israel. Israel by every, um, um, organization in the world is considered an apartheid state. Israel right now is literally right before our eyes conducting a genocide and ethnic cleansing of the Palestinians off their land. They're literally kicking these folk. That's just like me coming to your house with a couple of my partners, taking your whole house, man, at gunpoint, putting you out. Not only am I putting you out your house, I'm putting you out of the country. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a pressure you so far and kill so many of y'all and starve the rest of y'all to death that you're going to have to leave your own country. This is what Israel is doing. Man, I can go a little bit deeper, but I got to get ready and go in here, Maine, and make this 9 to 5 thing happen. But y'all stay tuned, man. I'm going to be keeping y'all up uh, informed on that. And that ain't including what's going on in Russia. But they trying to give another 60 billion of your money to the Ukraine while your grocery price is rising high as hell up in here. You know what I'm saying? Who going to fix that bridge up there in Baltimore? What they going to do about that bridge? All the money going over to Ukraine and to Israel. So y'all stay tuned, man. I'm going to show you how these things tie into um, real life. If y'all won't even say Bible prophecy. Now, I'm not going to get up here and be no Bible thumper or whatever, but I do believe in scriptures. And all scriptures that I read from the from the Indian, the Hindu scriptures, the Buddhist, the Christian, the Islamic Guess what, y'all? All of them tells us the same thing. We have gotten to a point in mankind where, it's, in this case, one group of people going to lead the whole world. Think about it. These same people just got through telling us about how horrible the Holocaust was, and they're literally, look at them, committing the Holocaust, Holocaust using your tax dollars here in America. Y'all be blessed.